Hi folks, it's Max from uh, RootGalaxyNote.com So I've got uh, ROM of the week for your Galaxy Note uh, GT and 7000 and also for the AT&T Galaxy Note SGH i717 or if you have a Canadian version i717M uh, Both of these are actually running um, Jelly Beer uh, Android 4.2.2 um, now, with this Jelly Beer ROM, you'll be able to get the latest Android 4.2.2. Uh, also, another reason why I'm featuring this ROM is I was looking for a good, stable ROM, uh, Android 4.2.2. Uh, and Jelly Beer is actually one of the best right now uh, that has Android Android 4.2.2. Now, I tried a CM 10.1, um, but um, that one, the USB was broken. But this one working uh, pretty flawless out of the box. Now with Jelly Beer uh, 4.2.2, you'll get the latest Android 4.2.2, um, you know, stability and performance. So that's the cool thing about it. And also, you'll be able to um, have some extra cool stuff. Like there's this thing called. Uh, let me show you just with one phone. One phone. There's this thing called Jelly Beer settings. Um, so if you like beer. You like this ROM now? Um, UI modes. You can change the LCD density. Basically, it will change. Um, it will make everything smaller or bigger, depending on how you want it. And also, there's this thing called UI mode. Right now, it's at none. Uh, but if you, I set this one on tablets. So now it's in tablet mode, as you can see there. I've got my notification bar coming from the right. Um, so kind of a, like a paranoid Android settings, slightly different. Uh, so let me show you something that's different about it. Uh, paranoid Android is per app basis, whereas the Jelly Beer goes by DPI groups. Um, so for example, I put uh, my my uh, let me see where did I put it. Uh, my gallery under 160 DPI there. Now let me remove this and show you. Um, so my gallery app, without putting it in a group, it will look like this, right? Now I want to make everything smaller so I can see the photos better. Now what I can do is add it, add it to this group 160 DPI. So smaller the number, the smaller it will get. So let me go ahead and add uh, gallery here. Oh, did it work? There we go. Ah, there we go. So it worked. Uh, let me go ahead and open up gallery. And it will get smaller, uh, a lot smaller here. And let's make it even smaller. And uh, let's actually put it in 120 DPI. And let me go ahead and add gallery here. And I think that will make it even smaller. Oh, I might have to close it up and then open it up again. Um, so it is kind of smaller. Well. The DPI is smaller. You can see it's a lot smaller there. Um, let me show you my Gmail. So I've got my Gmail under, I think, 213. So I've got it in tablet mode uh, there. So pretty much the difference is that um, you can put it into different groups uh, instead of going per app basis with this ROM. And that's kind of the main jelly beer, jelly beer feature. Um, I'm pretty sure. The developer of this ROM was drinking beer when he made it, which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. And also, uh, let's go look at the DPI. So that's what it is. And also, um, you can back up your configurations. So maybe you want to run your Netflix in tablet mode. Uh, all that here, instead of setting per app, uh, you can also add your own groups. You use groups. Uh, kind of a slightly different feel. Uh, other than that, you get standard CM 10.1. Uh, Sinogen mod stuff like the launcher lock screen theme system, but the main point is that you can now get Android 4.2.2 running on your Galaxy Note. And also, there is one more note um, on the GTN 70, 7000, the camera works just fine, um, works really well actually. I think I changed the DPI here by accident, but I'll change it back eventually. All right, there you go. A camera camcorder works well on the GTN 7000 and uh, that looks a little messed up because I changed the to tablet mode I should change the DPI also next um, the camera on the AT&T note works fine too 
as you can see there. Uh, it will autofocus. There you go. But with the camera, it actually works fine too. Just when you actually record it, you'll get a little bit fuzzy here. Um, but uh, in actual playback, you'll see that it is just fine. So just one note of that um, that I wanted to tell you before you install this ROM. Uh, but you might have to play with the DPI settings a little bit. Eh. I don't know where I put that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's the video I just took. And you'll see that the actual video is just fine. You can see the resolution is fine. Yeah. So check it out for this week's ROM of the Week, Jelly Beer. Uh, kind of similar to Paranoid Android, but the important point is you can get Android 4.2.2, which is hot right now on your Galaxy Notes. Uh, and of course, this is an AOSP ROM. You cannot run. Um, you cannot run uh, multi window, of course or any touch with features. Uh, but check it out for this week's ROM of the Week for the GTN 7000 and also the AT&T Galaxy Note and also do flash the correct version for each of them and don't forget to flash G Apps, uh, Google Apps, if you, otherwise you won't get Play Store um, the link is, G Apps link is always down the, under the ROM and don't forget to donate to the developers of these ROMs um, they work very hard for free uh, it's an open source world driven by donations uh, by uh, people like you and me. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and I'll see you guys soon. And uh, try it out and let me know what you think of Jelly Beer and also what you think of Android 4.2.2. And stay high on Android.